Stories of the Bible, the parable of the wealthy man. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. One day, a crowd gathered around Jesus to hear him talk. The crowd was so big that people were stepping on each other. Hey, watch it! Jesus was talking to his disciples when someone called out from the crowd. Hey, Jesus! Teacher, tell my brother to divide with me the property our father left us. Ah, uh, hold on there. Jesus said, friend, who made me a judge over you to decide such things as that? Be careful and guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life is not measured by the many things he owns. Huh? Then he told them a story. A rich man had a fertile farm that produced fine crops. He said to himself, what should I do? I don't have room for all my crops. Hmm. Ah, I got it. Then he said, I know. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. Then I'll have room enough to store all my wheat and other goods. And I'll sit back and say to myself, my friend, you have enough stored away for years to come. <laughs> now take it easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> but God said to him, you fool, you will die this very night. <laughs> Wait, what? Then. Who will get everything you worked for? Yes, a person is a fool to store up earthly wealth, but not have a rich relationship with God. Hi, I'm David. I'm Gus. And I'm Bog. Welcome to Scuppet Scout Camp. Oh, nice, Fog. All right, guys, let's do the Scuppet Scout salute. Uh. Okay! Wait, you aren't scared of calling the wolves? No, because I got this special wolf repellent. Who did you get that from? The Flaprios. Oh. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work. It, it's fine, David. Remember, there aren't any wolves out here anyway. Uh, what did you say?
you say? Uh, nothing, nothing. Time for the salute. All right. <laughs> Let's all clap twice and howl like wolves. Ready? <laughs> that was great. All right. Well, we're out here around the campfire telling stories so we can earn our storyteller's patch. Oh, oh, and, and I haven't gotten mine yet, so it's my turn to tell the story. Great, but first, I want to tell a parable of Jesus. Do you remember what a parable is? Um, it's a story Jesus told to teach us something? That's right. And the parable today is the parable of the rich fool. Mm. What happens in the story? Well, the story is there's a guy who has lots and lots of things, and he thinks it's a good idea to build a big barn to store all of his things. Sounds like a good plan. Well, the thing is, the guy was a fool because he spent all of his time storing things up and didn't spend any time with Jesus. Oh, oops. Oops is right. Things don't last forever, but our relationship with Jesus, it does. Mm. So that's what the story teaches us, that the most important thing is to be a friend with Jesus. Yep. Now, the guy in the story had a lot of things like grain and wheat, but let's think about something that, that you guys store up. Oh, I know. Um, Can I tell the story so I can get my storyteller's patch? Sure, Gus. Ahem. There once was a green scuppet who had lots and lots of toys. He had bouncy toys and fluffy toys. He had big toys and little toys and everything in between. He spent all his time thinking about his toys and, and never thought about God. One day he said to himself, what should I do? I don't have enough room for all my toys. Then he said, I know, I'll get a bigger tree house and then I'll have room for all my toys. Then I can sit back and play with my toys forever. What the green scuppet didn't know was that he wouldn't be able to keep his toys forever. In fact, he was going to have to move the very next day and he had to leave all his toys behind. The green scuppet had spent so much time thinking about his toys that he never really stopped to think about what really mattered. Wow. That was a good story, Gus. I mean, it had a sad ending, but it taught us an important lesson, just like Jesus' parable did. Yeah, the green scuppet didn't get to keep any of those things, but he should have spent more time being a friend with God. That's right, Bog. Well, Gus, I think you officially earned your storyteller's <gasps> patch. Yay! Yeah. Good job, <laughs> Gus. Thank you. Remember, friends, the most important thing we can do is to be friends with Jesus. Now, before we go, let's do one last Scuppet Scout salute. Ready? Oh! Wait, was that a real wolf? Uh, I think so. Oh, guys, we're fine. I got this wolf repellent. Maybe we should get into the tent. Wait, yeah. uh, are you saying this doesn't work? Um, <laughs> I, I don't think so, Gus. Ah, 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 let's get out of here! Yeah. Ah! My God is strong. He'll do anything big or small. Nothing is impossible for a super.